Hello, hello, it's your friend Double Bite, and we're back with some more Dominions 4. So, during my depressed marathon, my last nation was MA Pelag um, Pelagia, the Triton Kings, and honestly, I had a really cool strat that I wanted to try while well, not depressed. So, rather than releasing that video, at least I don't think I did, I decided to go and just make a new one. So, Pelagia have two kinds of units. Um, there are Tritons and Merfolk. Merfolk can go on dry land, Tritons cannot. So you have an amphibious army. Um, we'll go over the units in a little bit, but let's check out my strategy first. So you don't have that many choices of commander, which is pretty common for the ocean races, but you do have this badass motherfucker. Earth Serpent. Here are the key points. Amphibious. Scary. Cooperation. It regenerates wounds. That's really important if you want a god who's going to start out awake and murder shit on their very own, which is what we're going to do here. So, the key thing is we, want, we need to stay awake so that um, we can use the Earth Serpent to expand on land super fast while our water armies take over the seas. This way we don't have to wait to build up an amphibious army or get any items or something. No. We just start out kicking ass on land while everything else kicks ass in sea. So we're going to see if that works. It worked pretty well the one time I tried. Um, so typically with an Awake Pretender, you want to get 9 Dominion, because 9 Dominion gives you a point of awe, which acts like fear. It makes it um, enemies less have difficulty attacking you. Our nation also has some pretty good amphibious, I think they're amphibious, I hope they're amphibious, sacred units. So we're going to go up to four here to give ourselves reinvigoration. What would nine cost us? Nine costs, gives us to negative 50 and gives us protection five. Eh, potentially worth taking. Um, Let's see, what else do we want? Da, 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 da. Okay, so I think we want warmer. Let's do a little bit warmer so that we um, can keep things more melted in our domain. I'm pretty sure that works. And let's do two um, turmoil. Um, let's see. Let's do one turmoil, no, one turmoil, one sloth to offset and then we have enough room for one growth to kind of offset some of those losses. Does that make sense to do? Is that smart? That's a lot of minuses. Okay, we're at negative 10 right now. Let's take minus one here. Yeah. Okay, and then we still have a little more points, but I don't think we can put them anywhere else, no. Okay, so we're gonna get a pretty good bless. Reinvigoration's really nice, protection's always nice. We've got a point of awe, which will make our expansion really even better. We have a little bit of downsides. The resource is minus 15, is pretty brutal, but our income hits not that much um, overall, and we still have a little bit of growth. So, I think this is gonna be good. This is slightly different than I tried last time. Snack. All praise snack. Nice. I am pleased with this. Let's do my usual paranoia test to make sure I'm recording. Yes, I am. Good. You know me. So yeah, it's a little too late to be recording, so, so hopefully I'll be smart and not record for super long. I just wanted to make sure I got a video out tonight. Um, saying that with a friend of mine, friend Burb, that was really nice. We watched some Doctor Who, I had a bagel. Alright, so let's check out this map. Okay, well we are going to have all of the water. That's just a thing that's going to happen because it's just one big old water. And look at all of those neighboring territories that can't attack me, but I can attack them. That's lovely. 
So right off the bat, let's see what Snek can do. 29 protection right there. Doesn't matter if 9 defense, nothing's going to hurt him. That is excellent. So Snek is just going to start conquering shit. Not, we're not even going to wait to see what it is. We're just gonna go, we, I, I believe in Snek. We're going to do our usual Profitizer Scout. And let's just go for our units quick. Well, let's just set these up first. You be a coward. You are aquatic only. And have just spears. The mild poison. So you're going to attack whoever's closest. You have tridents that don't mild poison. And one protection. 14 protection. You are the better ones. You're also going to attack closest because fuck it. But you're going to attack closest from slightly farther away. And the others are going to be more meat shieldy. Sounds good. Snack. You are just going to attack shit. Cool. Um, so we'll start with that. Research. Hmm. Let's go for options real quick. Do we have any unique summons? What the hell is this? These are words that I do not understand. I do not... It's one commander for 30 gems. And... It's so sequestered on island, so hopefully it's at least aquatic, um, at least amphibious. So that seems cool. It's far down there, though. We have a dactyl. Another kind of commander. They are master smiths and crafters. Ooh, that's intriguing. So those are the only two we get. And these are masters, they are nymphs. Okay. So that seems pretty cool. Um, Nothing I'm thrilled about. But having some summoned units to back up our ground forces, once we get ground forces, might be pretty good. Alteration? Why am I even looking at this? I never like alteration. Evocation, evocation blasty shit. Um, you can get some cool underwater blasty shit, I think. Um, there's also a lot that doesn't work underwater. Yeah, it cannot be cast underwater. So, meh. Construction is always nice. Um, we took a drain. So I think I'm actually going to rush construction so we can get some owl quills really early to boost our um, research since we did take a little bit of drain. Enchantment. See, there's just so many spells that can't be cast underwater that are water spells. Just feels very silly. I don't know. Thaumaturgy, no. your standard stuff. Sailor's Death, can't be cast underwater, like. Why even have water spells? And then blood, no. Okay, so I'm gonna do construction for a bit and then probably conjuration so we can get some summons. I think that feels smart. And last but not least, let's do our initial recruiting. So let's go over our units. Net, Coral Spear, Cheap, Amphibious. Pretty good for, you know, just meat shields. Same thing, but tankier without the net and coral. Then we have other strand soldiers that we're never going to get because I hate getting aquatic only units. It drives me nuts. Then we have Coral Clan Hoplite. Spear formation, really good stats actually. Almost worth getting for underwater purposes. Long Spear with Poison. Kind of, might be worth getting um, for later on when we have some air breathing. Emerald Hand Guard. Pretty cool. Um, right off the bat, I'm not sure why I would get them over the hoplite because they cost quite a few more resources and actually have lower protection and a worse weapon. I don't know. Night at the Deeps is our recuperating, aquatic, sacred, generally really badass, really good abilities, expensive as hell. And then last but not least, we have a sacred amphibian, which is nice. It's also pretty good stats. Not the best weapon, but also pretty cheap. We have a large variety of various um, fishy peeps, but let's just look at the important ones. Mermaid is going to be one of our main research people. Again, water, decent diversity there. 
Mystics, good at research, but they're old. But again, also pretty good diversity. Um, yeah, they have Astral, which which will come in handy. We want to go with an Astral strategy, which I never do, but it's potential. Priest, no. Amberclan Mage, which I'm fond of because they can get us fire, which leads us from fires to heaven, so we can blast spaces. They're old, but I can deal with that if they're a source of fire. Slightly better priest than the previous priest. Pearl Mage, more astral focused. Again, old, but Pearl Cultivator means that we can create astral pearls, which is really handy. Prince, Priestly. King, super wet. Super spells, Pearl Cultivator. You're a pretty standard, really expensive person. Um, although, actually. Yeah, you're pretty expensive. And then Conqueror of the Closed Realm. It's kind of weird. You get a spell, but eh, you're kind of a good priest. You have decent stats, but like, I don't know. What's the Pearl Blade do? Okay, so that's magic damage. I just like, they're expensive. I guess maybe they're useful for thugging, but not certain. I don't know. Anyway, for early on, since we're pretty resource shy. I'm getting a lot of mermen. Uh, yeah, that's even worth getting. You're aquatic only. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get mermen. There we go. <laughs> nice and easy. Well, hence been driving me nuts is that this and Conquest of Elysium have different shortcuts. So I keep on doing Conquest of Elysium shortcuts instead of this game's shortcuts. There's a battle. Ooh. We just picked up a new source of amphibians. Not necessarily very good amphibians. But the, actually, that's not terrible for a cheap unit. Um. Sweet. And let's watch this battle. I enjoy watching battles with an Earth Serpent against anything else. Want to know why that is? Because guess who doesn't give a fuck? Earth Serpent doesn't give a fuck. Let's see just how hurt it is. Not too bad so far. And yeah, they're running in fear. Still at 286 hit points. So beautiful. So serpent. Love it. Okay, enough of that. Okay, so what do we got here? 70 Lion Tribe, Lion Tribe, 60 Militias and Heavy Infantries, 30 Militias, Heavy Infantries, and Archers. We don't have any ranged units, so Archers would be nice. Heavy Infantries and Cavalries. So let's look at some good spots to build a castle right now. Here is actually a pretty good spot for a castle because it only we can cross this way and that blocks everything off and it, only, it does share two squares in common with our capital. Our capital has so many goddamn squares so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, here is a decent spot because again we have a block off there. This lake isn't a block off. So this one's decent for blocking, so maybe here, probably here, probably here. So what do I start with? Again, we're not injured, and we have plus experience, Jesus. Okay, let's start with this one, and then we can get a commander, and we can actually start building a fort really quickly, because our income is actually super high. And let's see, do we want to recruit any... Ichthyids. Wow, we have a lot of resources here, actually. Okay. 17, 13, 11, 9, 9. 11, 9, 8. Protection's a decent bit lower. Well, actually, way lower. But they have the net. So let's do 1, 2, 1, 2. 3, 3. Yeah. Let's do one, two, three, one, two, three, 
and just repeat that. So I'm just gonna leave that on repeat and forget about it. And later we'll just have a huge army there because I'll forget about it for a long ass time. Okay, Atlantean militias and shamblers, both terrible. Horse trap cavalry, well, no, fuck that. And then shamblers. So those are our two choices. Army setup. Cheap ass net people. Join the other cheap ass people. Let's just go kill some shamblers. And you sneak on this way to see what we're going towards. Now, as far as unit recruitment goes, I want to do some early site searching. So let's see if we can get uh, not slow to recruit. Um, I like the idea of getting some fire early, but I think I'm going to prioritize getting air early. What are your chances for air? No, I see nothing. Do I want one of you early? Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just get one, one of them early. Um, everything's going pretty cheap so far. And let's just do another round of of mer assholes. We actually have the recruitment to spare this turn. Let's get one of them. We don't really need to work about worry about province defense as much as usual, thankfully, because you know we're in the water, so no one's going to threaten us for a while. And I would be very surprised if there's another water nation. And if there's, they're going to die because I have an earth servant. And they probably do not have an Earth Serpent. That would be very surprising. Righto. Why the fuck did I just say Righto? There's a battle on the Grandfather. That is eight more Shamblers than you told me there were. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just like watching this. I'll since skip ahead a little bit. It won't be long. Not as long as my snake. I just want to see if it takes any damage. Okay, what are we at right now? 252. Oh, wow, we took 30 damage compared to last time. And they're routed. Nah. Nah. Yeah. No, that's slow motion. Jesus. That's just a terrifying idea. Okay, no neighbors yet. We have heavy cavalry and heavy infantry. Lion tribe, heavy infantry. So recruit units here. Make it the commander. And as many archers as we can for now. And Snek, keep on doing your thing. Okay, what do we got? Two tritons, triton sea trolls, kraken. Trading troopers, militias, and shamblers. Okay, first of all, let's see what we got. Atlantean militia. Congratulations, you are god awful. Shambler, resource cheap. Pretty stocky. Not great, but two attacks. And resource cheap, so. We're gonna go this way scatter this way and then swing back around for them. We don't have any more money, but fuck it. Okay. I think that's everything. Right, Y is not next turn anymore. E is next turn. Y is for conquest. God damn it. Battle in Erd. Yeah, we win that. Battle in Lake Seaweed. Again, minor losses. Let's watch one of these fights since we haven't seen them in action yet, but... It's not that interesting. We throw nets on them and then poke them with sticks. The underwater is kind of pretty, though. This is so goddamn generic. Well, these stars have gold. They're shiny. A scamander. Beautiful. Why do you have a... You have a hippocampus with you, just hanging out. That's so cool. Cool. Recruit units. Okay, now... Oh wait, I need to double check what... Before I do that. 
What's our big boy got? No air. Damn it, come on now. Okay, well I don't want to waste another big weight, so let's just pop out pearl mages until we get some air. No, well you're guaranteed air actually. Fine, get one of you. And we're actually gonna save money this turn. This one's not risky, but riskier than this one, so I'm just gonna kind of go in order of risk. You just relax. Recruit units. Um so I'm gonna go with two light infantry and then archers every turn. Uh, so you're gonna be our supply of range. Go pick up the reinforcements. And useless. So keep on moseying. There's a battle, we killed them. We have double the experience now. Because we're fucking awesome. Hey, it's down from 70 to 50. Perfect. Let's kill it. All right. I'm, I, you'd think I'd know what the symbols meant by now, but I don't. So we have sword art online over there. Uh, I'm funny. No, I'm not funny. Search. Yeah, can you do anything special? No, not really, so. Cool. Wow, these are just the saddest armies. I see the train could probably take out one on his own. Oh, 800 actually. Wow, that is a magic number, I think. Construct building fortress. Let's just hope he doesn't get attacked. Fingers crossed. You're irritating me that we're not doing any research yet. Okay. Whoa. Must be my birthday. Okay, we kill that. That is more than 10. But well, whatever, we win. Oh, whatever. What did you find? We've got some astral. We've got some water, we've got some kelp. Good on you, mate. All right, so Bandar, you just declared war on us, huh? Where the fuck even are you? Why would you? You're all the way out over there, what are you doing? Get lost. All right, it's 30 in their Amber Clan, that's fancy. I think that's the kind of mages we have, right? Okay, you're on searching duty as well. Okay, now let's make some pearl mages, I think. Yeah, pearl. No. Where are we? So that's 9 for 95. That's 13 and better thingies, but also old for a, little, a decent bit more expensive. Um, let's go with Pearl just because they're a better unit. Let's start churning them out. Now that we're getting some resources, we'll put them into the rotation. And is that everything? All right, snack. Keep on snacking. Um, I'm tempted to just go fuck with Bandar right now, honestly. There's a battle. Our remaining merman has fallen. There was a battle. Yes, we won. Okay. You do not have air. But we really need to start researching like an hour ago. 
What do you have? Right, you have an error. I knew that. I know what I'm doing. Hober, Crossbows, and Bergmeisters. They're in this game? No, they're in Conquest. I didn't know they were in this game. Cool, let's go kick their ass and then start building a new fort. Okay, I did have you search there. Right, because I got the three things. Wow, I cannot remember things for shit right now. Um, yeah, let's go start, start scouting the land. Might as well say we're getting the lay of it. Oh, -ho. um, let's restock on Chamblers and then try to sweep around there without too much more interruption. I think. Um, that feels smart. That's everyone great. Why did the game Oh no. I just had a mod related crash. I don't know what the minions for autosave is like. But we're going to find out. A sea crash. Uh. Okay. I'm going to be right back and see if I can fix this. I really, really hope I can fix this. It would have been nice if the autosave was a little bit different than this. Well, hashtag mods. Okay, back in a second, peeps.